Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this new tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the touch sensors that comes with the ESP32 board. So this board comes with a few pins that we can use as touch sensors. In this video, we'll be able to control the built-in LED, which is blue, by touching the pin. As you can see, the LED turns on. And when I release it, it turns off. So before we get started, make sure to smash that subscribe button, that helps me a lot. And without any further ado, let's dive right in. So the ESP32 board comes with 10 capacitive touch sensors that we can use for some projects. In this video, we are going to check if we touch one of the uh, pins, which is a touch sensor. In such case, we are going to turn on the built-in LED that is connected to the GPIO pin number 2. So if you look at the pinout diagram, you see that we have some of the pins that are labeled as touch pins. This one is touch 0, and it is the GPIO pin number 4. We have touch 1, 2, 3, until number 9. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the touch number 0, which is the pin number 4. Basically, we have a built-in command that is called touch read. We give it the pin number, like 4, and it will return a value that changes whenever we touch the pin. So let's open up the Arduino IDE. Here we have an empty sketch. First, I will read the value and print it on the serial monitor. So let's go under the setup function and begin the serial monitor using serial dot begin which takes the baud rate, like 115, 200, and that's the best baud rate for any ESP32 board. Then under the loop function, you could use serial dot print line or print ln. And in these parentheses, we are going to print the value of the touch read function. So let's write touch read. And it takes the pin number like the pin number 4, which is labeled as touch 0 in our case. You could even use T0 instead of uh, using the pin number by entering T, then 0, and don't forget the semicolon. Now before we test this code, we have to add a little bit of delay, because the loop function is called over and over again very fast, and will not be able to see the value so let's add delay, which takes the number of milliseconds, like 200 milliseconds. Now we can upload the code, but make sure to plug in the USB cable of the ESP32 board. Then we have to select it. If you are using the new version of the Arduino IDE, you could select the options from here, like the uh, port, which is COM6. Then we can search for the ESP32 board. For me, it is called Node MCU 32S. Make sure to search for the board that you have and select the type. Then hit OK. I highly recommend you to install the new version of the Arduino IDE because it's much, much better. Anyways, once you do that, we can hit the upload button. Now it is compiling the sketch. And if you get this message connecting, you have to hold down the boot key and that will start uploading the code and once it's done we can test the project so make sure to open up the serial monitor so that we can see the values by selecting this button serial monitor or you could go to tools then serial monitor and here's the values for now it is 109 and to test the project we have to touch the pin, which is the pin number 4, or I will use this jumper wire. And here's the pin number 4. Now I will touch the other side. And yeah, the value goes below 30. And once I release it, it gets back to uh, 65 or 70. Now we can check if the value is less than 50 or 40 we are going to turn the LED on 
otherwise we will turn it off so let's modify the code first we need to add a variable for our pen using int and let's call it LED pen equals to so the built-in LED is connected to the GPIO pen number 2 if you have another board with another number make sure to select it then under the setup function let's use pen mode which takes the LED pin and the output keyword now under the loop function we will check if the touch read function returns a value that is under 30 we are going to turn the LED on so we can add an if statement if touch read is less than 30 we turn the LED on using the digital write command this takes the LED pen which is number 2 and to turn it on we have to add high and that outputs a voltage from this pen to turn the LED on otherwise using else we turn it off using the same line of code so I will copy it then paste it but make sure to change this to low to turn the LED off and that's pretty much it so you see it's very easy to use the touch sensors and this is just one example but you could create as many projects as you want with this feature anyways let's upload the code using this button and hold down the boot key now it is uploading the code and once it's done uploading let's test the project when I touch the pen you see the LED turns on and when I release it it turns off so it's working I think that's pretty much it guys for this video I hope you like it if you have any question or comment make sure to write it under the comment section down below and I will see you in the next one